Okay, my YouTube peeps. If you remember my last video, grain versus grain, gold versus silver, well, let's just say I have decided to open up this package of silver and this package of gold. Okay. Keep in mind, this is one grain of silver. One grain. This is two grains of gold. So, without any further ado, let's find out if, if it weighs. Okay, one grain of silver is on there. And it weighs 1.2 grains. Sorry, now it weighs one grain. So if I can't get the lighting right for you, but that should be right there. So one grain of silver, right there. All right. Next up is the two grains of gold. Let it settle. Two point two grains is what that weighs. And if you were paying attention to the sound, which I hope you were. So I heard it. Uh, the silver hit softer than the gold did. But now you want to see thickness. Oh wow, check this thickness out. This is your one grain of silver. <laughs> Look how thin that is. Holy crap. It's like aluminum foil right there. And then very hard to do with the gold because it's itty bitty as you can see it's like not even visible in my hands and two grains it looks to be maybe a, a millimeter thicker oh, sorry not a millimeter probably <laughs> not even that much but still a little bit thicker than the gold the silver does now let's stick this bad boy oops just dropped him under the microscope and take a closer look at him Okay, I'm gonna throw you up on my little tripod and get you all rearranged so you can see. Happy. So you can see my shit. All right, there. Now, like I said, don't mind the PC at the top. I'm saying it needs to be correct gold. <laughs> Even though it doesn't, we all know it stands for Patriot Coins, which I gotta admit, for gold, it's not bad looking. I mean, you can see they've made some stamping errors right there, compared to right there. The .899, oh yes, no, that's a 999. Gold and everything is, looks like it's embossed coming out at you right there. Whereas right there, it looks like it got stamped down in. Same thing with the PC on top. This one looks smoother, like be more shinier than that one, but that one looks a lot more better, like it's actually popping out of you. You can actually see the lines right there. Here you can barely see the lines. But that's your one grain, your two grains of gold right there. That weighed two point, I think 2.2 .2 grams, grains. Alright, let's look at our green silver. Okay, this side weighs good. Sorry about that guy, this one, I don't think he's out of picture. Doesn't that look like aluminum foil? But this is one grain of silver. Now you saw how thick it was, it's actually really super thin. And it takes 480 grains to make one ounce of silver. Keep in mind, one ounce is 24 grams. And this is just one grain. That does look like a little, especially when you're at the back of it. The front of it. My bad, my bad. There we go. Back looks like shit, the front looks okay, I guess. My 
bad to put that, guys. There you go. Maybe. It's just upside down. <laughs> but now, <clears throat> and that's one grain of silver. Now, this is one gram of silver. And by the looks of it, um, well, it would probably take 10 grains just to make one, one, one gram. But basically say, um, each individual fine silver grain varies in weight from 0.1 to 2.2 grains. This is what the internet says, but I'm not sure if it's actually true. You see, you look at a pretty cool picture. Let me, let me just give you a skull. Oh, that was better. Wow. Even I can see the imperfections right there, the teeth. But here's, should be matched right here, this eye does. They fuzzed it in too much right there. It's still a pretty cool picture. I think mean, so. But until next time, my YouTube fam out there, I'll educate you and you can educate me with more information that we both don't know. So until next time, have a wonderful day. Bye.